Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for those of you with older PCs, the top 10 32-bit Linux distributions in 2024. You might be wondering, what's happening with 32-bit support? Well, let's get into it. Many older PCs run on 32-bit architecture, but most modern machines use 64-bit architecture. As a result, many popular Linux distros have been dropping 32-bit support over the past few years. Even lightweight distros like Zubuntu and Linux Lite stopped their 32-bit versions back in April 2021. If you're concerned about losing your trusty 32-bit Linux machine, don't worry. There are still a few distros out there waving the 32-bit flag. Today, we'll explore the top 10 32-bit Linux distributions that are still receiving official support from their developers. Let's start with number one on our list. Bodhi Linux is all about minimalism and ease of use. It's perfect for those who want a fast and efficient desktop without a lot of pre-installed software. Bodhi is based on Ubuntu 18.04, which means it has extensive support for older computers. Now, it's important to note that the 32-bit non-PAE architecture doesn't receive kernel updates, but you'll still enjoy the beautiful Moksha DE, which you can customize with various nature-inspired themes. Next up is Alpine Linux. This distro is designed for users who want a minimalist interface and a secure environment. The default ISO is just 133 MB, making it ideal for even the smallest drives. Alpine uses a position-independent executable for memory management, making it extremely secure. But a heads up, Alpine isn't for Linux newbies. You'll need to manually create users, learn a new package manager, and install a desktop environment if you want more than just a command line. For those of you who love a rolling release model, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a great choice. Unlike Leap, which only supports 64-bit, Tumbleweed continues to support 32-bit systems. It's packed with developer-focused tools like Yast and OpenQA, making it a favorite among developers and system administrators. If speed and efficiency are what you're after, Antics is worth considering. It's based on Debian and is designed to be used as a live-only distro, meaning you can avoid full installation if you want. It even operates in persistent mode, letting you live boot while saving data to your hard drive. Antics doesn't use the system suite, opting instead for lean window managers. It's great for both new and experienced users. Peppermint OS offers a minimalist desktop experience, combining Debian and Devuan with a rolling release model. It comes with the XFCE desktop environment, but you'll need to install additional software as needed, even a web browser. It's like Arch in its minimalism, but a bit more user-friendly out of the box. Magaya, a fork of Mandriva Linux, is a community-powered distro that supports 32-bit systems. You can expect major releases every year. Magaya supports a variety of desktop environments, including KDE Plasma and Genome, which you can install from its repositories. It's secure and versatile, though not as popular as some other 32-bit options. Slacks is ideal if you need to boot up a device quickly for temporary work. The 32-bit variant of Slacks is based on Debian, making it portable and fast. It's designed to run from USB devices or DVDs. While it's not meant to replace a traditional desktop OS, it's a handy tool with 32-bit support. MX Linux is another excellent option, especially if your hardware isn't completely vintage, but still old. It's lightweight, customizable, and based on Debian. You can choose from KDE, XFCE, or Fluxbox, which is their own desktop environment for older hardware. It's a versatile distro suitable for all types of users. Q4 OS focuses on providing a minimal and fast desktop experience, making it one of the best lightweight Linux distributions. The 32-bit edition features the Trinity desktop, while the 64-bit version supports KDE Plasma. It runs on minimal hardware requirements, making it perfect for vintage machines. Last but not least, we have Linux Mint Debian Edition, or LMDE. Built on the stable base of Debian, LMDE is perfect for new users who want a reliable system that just works. It's known for its beginner-friendly nature, combined with Debian stability. The recent release, LMDE 6, supports both 32-bit and 64-bit, making it ideal for older hardware. So, there you have it, our top 10 32-bit Linux distributions for 2024. While the list of 32-bit supported distros is shrinking, these options ensure that your older hardware can still run smoothly and efficiently. Whether you're looking for minimalism, security, or just a reliable system, there's something here for everyone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more tech content.
Let us know in the comments which 32-bit distro you prefer, or if you have any other recommendations. See you next time.